which came first, the clients or the portfolio? So you've decided you are ready to take the leap and become a website designer, but how exactly do you book clients if you don't have any work to show them yet? Sure, you could do some free work for friends and family, but unless you are super, super lucky, I'll bet those first few clients or friends and family projects won't exactly end up as the dreamy projects that you're excited to show off in your portfolio. Or maybe you're starting to see inquiries coming through to your web design business, yay. But when a potential client asks to see all your work, all you have to show them are a few projects that you're glad you've done, but aren't exactly excited to do more of that type of work. And so that's why today I'll be showing you how to create a great website portfolio without any clients. and best way to build a standout portfolio is to use what we call concept projects. Concept projects are simply projects you've created to show off your skills. They're not necessarily for a paid client. It's kind of like if you booked an absolutely dreamy, perfect client and you did the whole process to create a final design for them, but instead of delivering a working website to a paying client, you're building up your portfolio. So these are the perfect way to get some examples of your work that are perfectly aligned with your style and let you show off your web design skills at the same time. And now the greatest thing about using these, what some people call fake client projects or concept projects is that you get so much more control over the project and the process. Let's say you're really excited to work with interior designers, but you haven't actually worked with one before. A perfect concept project for you to do would be to do an interior designer website. But let's dive a little deeper, shall we? What types of websites are you dreaming of making? Do you wanna show off your fancy coding skills? Are you also a brand and graphic designer and you wanna show off your design with some logo designs in there too? Or maybe you're loving the idea of creating complex e-commerce websites, then fantastic. You should definitely show off those skills in your concept projects. And you can totally use your concept projects to test out your client process as well. If you're loving the idea of doing the VIP day model, then challenge yourself to complete your concept project in a day using the same framework that you'll be using for your VIP day clients. Or maybe you're excited to have a streamlined one or two week web design process, then use your concept project to iron out your workflow and create any assets that your future clients will need in order to keep them on track. Now, if you're dreaming of crafting fully custom designs, then let your creativity run wild with a full blown custom experience for your fake concept client that shows just how high touch and premium your services really are. Your concept projects are the perfect playground to try out your methods and your processes without actually having the added stresses of having clients right there waiting for you and hard deadline. So I'm pretty sure you've already got some ideas buzzing around in your head for a concept project. But how do you pick the right projects from all of those in order to show off in your portfolio? Remember, your portfolio is an asset that you're creating to attract more projects like the ones that you're showing off. So curating a compelling portfolio really comes down to two things. Who do you want to work with and what type of projects do you want to do more of? As soon as you have a project that fits both of those criteria, then boom, that is a perfect portfolio piece. All in all, you're aiming for around three to five standout projects that are a perfect fit for what you're looking to do more of. So it doesn't have to be too much work to go ahead and create a few show-stopping projects to fill out your portfolio and get your business going. Once you've picked your top portfolio projects, you'll need to pull everything together to create your portfolio on your own website. Of course, you definitely want to have a bunch of beautiful mock-ups showing off your work, but just showing off a bunch of pictures isn't exactly going to convince a potential client to work with you, especially if you're still just getting started. So if you wanna use your portfolio to attract your ideal clients, you'll also need to walk them through what it's like to work with you. I'm talking about showing off that process that you've been working on and spelling out what it would be like for a client to go through this process and to go through this transformation with you. Share your reasoning for your design decisions and showcase what kind of designer that you are. This is where you will give your ideal potential clients a taste of your aesthetic and style as well as the way that you work best. Again, that's all in the actual portfolio piece. And just because you're using a concept project for your portfolio, it doesn't mean that you need to showcase it any differently. It is completely up to you if you want to disclose in your portfolio that this was a concept project or not, or simply decide to display your work alongside any paid client projects without any additional explanation. Whatever feels right to you in that situation is the thing to go with. So to recap, not having paid clients yet is no reason for not having an amazing portfolio. You can use concept projects for your entire portfolio or they can live alongside your paid client work. As long as your portfolio is speaking to the right clients and showcasing the right projects, then you, my friend, are golden. And in fact, 
using concept projects even after you've booked paying clients can be a really good way to book more of the type of projects that you're excited about. That is all for today's video, but if you'd like a little bit more help with finding clients after you've polished up those concept pieces, then do not miss my quiz. It is all about finding out which client finding method matches your personality type, and you can find it at pbcourses.com forward slash quiz, or I will put the link for that in the description for you below. That is all for this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the subscribe button for more content just like this in the future.